When you have to present on video, do you feel a little robotic, a little stiff, maybe like a deer in headlights? Well, you have some awesome help today. I am Amanda Rose, and I'm here with my good friend, Kelly Oliver. Say hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. I mean, hi, Amanda Rose. <laughs> <laughs> we are here to help you, and I, I'm going to share a little personal experience about my video challenges so that you will know you're not alone, and this is why I asked Kelly. For those that are new to me, I am Amanda Rose. I'm your speaking success strategist. I'm creator of, of the Invincible Speaker System and the ECM Method for Speakers. And I used to try to present when video first came out. Now imagine six, seven years ago when we had the flip camera and people would put <laughs> video on me and say, Amanda Rose, speak. And I'd be like, uh, um, hi, everybody. This is Amanda Rose. Wow, <sighs> awful, godly awful. And so I knew that I needed help. And Kelly came to my rescue and said, Amanda Rose, do this, this, and this. And it changed mm -hmm. everything for me. Now I'm not perfect at presenting on video. I'm still getting used to it because audiences are my thing, but I'm super excited to be here. So I'll let Kelly tell you a little bit about her experience and why you need to learn from Kelly today. Oh, thank you, Amanda Rose. have been a host on home shopping channels, home shopping networks all over the world for about 20, 25 years. And it was my dream to be a host on a shopping channel. So what ended up happening is uh, in Canada, it started off being anything but live. It was just a talking voice. And then the cameras went live. Well, then I realized that I wasn't so good at working on a camera. In fact, I was absolutely terrible. And then I realized if I wanted to keep my dream job, I had better get some help. So I went out and I hired some of the top experts in the field whose job it was to train people how to work with the camera. So I took what they gave me and I spent the next 25 years perfecting my craft and finding more, better, easier tips and techniques to be able to connect to the camera, make the audience love you, okay, and leave a very strong, positive brand experience for everybody out there. That and that's what awesome. I did. I love it. Now you have Thank you. killing it with your Triple K and your Facebook Live yes. videos. So just share a little bit about your Triple K product so that people know what you're up to these days. And, okay. And just in the process, can you share what some of the things that you have been doing that have really helped your Facebook Live videos? Okay, sure. All right. Well, first of all, I'm going to get, we're going to, this is sort of like a tip in training. So I'm actually holding my iPhone. Sometimes I get a camera person to actually hold it for me and shoot me, and sometimes I use a tripod. So here, here's some tips in the making. So let's say you're holding in your own iPhone. You want your videos to be engaging. So watch what I'm doing. I'm putting my triple K into the frame, let me, and then paying attention to the shadows, and I'm zooming the camera in, and I'm zooming the camera out. A little tip for you right there. But triple K, yeah, thank you. You know, I always... My, I was a show host by night because I worked evenings, but I was a health and wellness expert by day. And that was always my passion. And I was on home shopping for 25 years. And then I left home shopping and I created my own first skincare line. And then I, I started speaking. And then I started a shopping channel on, uh, on the internet for people who have products. I came back to my roots, which is product creation. How do you tell a story about collagen replenishment and a drink? It's pretty new, pretty unusual, and people really don't understand that. So I made it a mission to educate people with short videos, anywhere from 30 seconds. Now, hold on. See, this is live. We're talking about lips in my hair because it's like sticking in my lipstick. By the way, this is a tip. This is okay to do. Anything and everything goes. And it's being live and doing goofy things like maybe rubbing your nose or saying, oops, I made a mistake, is to get your viewers to watch live video. Your intention is to get them to stay. And your intention is to get them to watch your video past the 15 second mark. So I took that tactic back last fall. Um, starting in the fall, promoting Triple K, what it's all about, what it's going to do for you. And I would do these videos and I would shoot them weekly, post them weekly, post them daily. 
And that is my suggestion to you when you have a product or a service is to use the power of video, any type of platform, and there are plenty of them out there right now, use the platform message across. The key thing is, and I think, I mean, Amanda Rose, this is, this is your thing as well, but the key thing is how to do it in a way that is authentic and gets people coming back for more. So Kelly, let's, we're going to come back to the, maybe talking about the message for a minute. Okay. Talk to people that were, are new like I was uh, six, seven years ago and where you're standing in front of a video camera, you're looking at this little tiny circle, right? And yeah. it, you're literally going, oh my gosh, this is scary, <laughs> right? So yeah. can you give us some basic suggestions and sure. then let's hit it home with some awesome, more accelerated tips. How does that sound? Okay. All right, all right. So first and foremost, your camera is your friend. It is not the enemy, it is your friend. I like, to, I like to think of it as like that person who is always there for you and always has your back, right? So when you look at the camera, look at them, look at the camera as if you're talking to them. And tape it to the side of your camera so that when you're talking, and, and if you watch my eye line, Right now, I'm pretending that the camera is off to the side or up on top. Talking to that photograph right now, you can probably see me change in my demeanor. You can probably even energetically feel the difference in my talking to you. Because I'm talking to someone right now who means a lot to me. Me! <laughs> <laughs> and, and that is just a, a, a quick tip that you can use and you can implement immediately and and i'm just going to repeat this an, uh, one more time nervous looking into a camera and of course that is what you must do to connect to your audience take your eye line okay so right now uh, right now okay right now i'm looking into the screen of my iphone i'm right now looking at the camera at the top of my iphone it's a slight change in my eye line but it has been shown to be less intimidating than looking straight down the barrel of a lens of a camera. Makes sense? Mm-hmm. And can people put maybe like, because I know that's a challenge for me, especially when I'm talking to somebody else, is I want to tend to look down when I'm having an interview like this. Mm -hmm. And so would it be helpful if I maybe put a circle or something, like a piece of paper around the lens to kind of pull my eye and remind me to keep going there? Actually, no. Okay. Because if you put a circle like some paper, so what's happening is you're blocking the light. Oh. Oh. Yes. You want to make sure that nothing is around that camera lens, whether it's on your computer or on your iPhone. Now, I have a question for you. Because I'm looking at your face in, in my iPhone, does it look like I'm looking down? I can't tell without my glasses, Kelly. <laughs> If you're watching the Facebook live, can you chat and say, yeah. Kelly, I see yeah. you don't look like you're looking down or you're looking, you're, it's perfect where you're looking. You got to help me out, everybody. Okay. <laughs> I don't have my glasses. All right. um, here's another tip when you want to work with the camera. My suggestion is to always stand because energetically you're going to be much more grounded and centered. I mean, that's really, really important. See, so the key thing is how do you sound natural? as Amanda Rose said in the beginning, rather than sounding stiff or like the old proverbial deer in the headlight. Um, yes, you're talking to your best friend, but here's another tip that, you, that I find is really helpful. You gotta, you've gotta know your content, upside down and inside out. You must practice it out loud. Practice it out loud is that number one, your mouth is used to saying the words, it's like muscle memory, and that your mouth doesn't forget. So even if you get nervous and you kind of get a little, you lose track of where you're going, your mouth and the muscles will remember. So here you've got a dog barking in the background. Now I've got something beeping in my background. What do you do with that? Typically, um, an unseasoned video person might get completely thrown off their game and get frozen a little bit. And like, what do you do next? And you lose track of where you're going. Okay. So a couple things to take care of that. Number one, you must address the pain. 
I, I mean, everybody else at home is hearing it. You know, because I deal with live presentations as well as online training programs and webinars and things happen. You have to be able to roll with the punches because if you don't, your audience will not see you as credible. They will not see you mm -hmm. as the expert that you are. They will start to think that you can handle a simple thing like that. So why should they trust you with their, their money, their, you know, utilizing their pro your products and things like that. Right. So you got to go with it. Make the best of it. To, to everybody, I hired, invested in Amanda Rose to help me learn to speak in front of an audience in, on a stage because I had no clue, no training how to do that. Speaking in front of a camera you, is very different than speaking on a stage. When you speak on a camera, you're in a very small environment. Look at the size of your monitor. Look at the size of your iPhone. Your face is there. Movements need to be smaller. Energy must be in the eyes. The connection must be made. Okay, so you know, one of my favorite hacks, um, and I've given you a couple like putting the photograph on the side of the camera, um, you know, looking at the top of the camera. How do, are you a natural speaker? And it's a process of being centered and grounded and being the master of your own energy because energy is really the whole dynamic of speaking and connecting with people. So if you can find a way to bring your soul, your solar plexus energy from your gut, remember we're talking on a camera, straight, uh, straight up into your eyes and think about shooting laser beams, boom, of communication through your eyes. My words are coming through my eyes to connect to you. My eyes twinkle, they brighten up a little bit. The tone, the tempo changes, everything changes because now, but on the energetic word that I'm speaking to you. Does, does this make sense, Amanda Rose? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, and that's a really good point because when you are thinking about sending out this beautiful, I, I consider it like white light. You said laser beam. I think of it as white light. And it's really about connection because if you look at anybody that's successful on video, it's their, their ability to connect, right? It's their ability to make people know, like, and trust them. And so whatever you can do to do that yes. is fabulous. Yeah. I use um, a heart oil, a rose oil that I spray around me. So it allows me to ground and center myself. I use the, the white light. Think about what works for you. Utilize the strategies right. that Kelly mentioned and you'll, you'll see a change because when you start presenting that way, everything, it shifts. Co totally correct. Shifts. Here's another tip that I use. It's really, really important. And, this and everything that you would sell has a different feeling state. It has a, there's a different purpose for someone buying it. Well, it's the same thing with you if you're online and you're using video to promote your brand or your business. And when you do a video, you're going to do different types of videos. So, so you will be doing a demonstration, a demo video. You'll be doing an educational video. You'll be doing a selling video. You'll be doing uh, just simply a fun video, a get to know you video. When you start your video, Focus on your intention and your audience. Who are you speaking to? What are you trying to achieve with them? I think you gave them great ideas because often I think people struggle about what do I talk about on video? So you gave them wonderful ideas because you can share your personal journey, your story, why you love what you do, why you're involved in a nonprofit, why you are in your business share your personal heart story, share great content, share even something that maybe isn't related to your business. Get really personal and have fun with your audience. Even things like maybe you're, you have a child and it was just funny what your child said. Get on Facebook Live, tell that story, connect with people emotionally. So Kelly, I know I asked you to do something awesome for our audience. Yes. You did talk about your triple K. Can you share with them if they would love to get their hands on that amazing yes. product that they need All to right. do? All right. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put on my glasses because I won't be able to see it. And um, I've got a special, and the special is a, a sample, a four-serving pouch of triple K. And you get it for free. And we have, um, I've got a website, a link for you. So it's, it's kellyolver.com 
And then it's really simple. Get hyphen your hyphen free hyphen triple K, triple hyphen K. Oh, I'll say that again. And I'm going to read it directly. Okay. It goes uh, www.kellyoliver.com backslash get hyphen your hyphen free hyphen triple hyphen K. Well, uh, you'll get it for free. I've arranged to get it waived and we'll refund your credit card. So it's absolutely free for everybody that is on this uh, on this webinar, this, lo this live broadcast right now. And I have something really cool for everybody too, is because, you know, when you're speaking, whether you're speaking on video, whether you're speaking to a live audience, hosting a webinar, doing an online training, many of the same principles apply. So we all want to increase our results. So I have a special gift for you. It's eight high performance speaking tips to double and even triple your results and your revenue. So that's eight high performance speaking tips to double and even triple your results and your revenue. And all you need to do is go to highperformancespeaking.com. That's H-I-G-H, performancespeaking.com, and you can access your free gift right now. So Kelly, you want to leave them with one last words of something, words of wisdom? Yes, yes, yes. Um, on, on live video, anything goes and everything goes. Don't be afraid to try new things like as I showed you, to zoom in and to zoom out, to zoom in like this. You want to get their attention. You want to keep their attention. You need to stand out from the rest. And that comes with using techniques that I've given you, techniques with your camera, trying it with a tripod. Get, a, get someone to hold the camera for you so you can try different things. Fabulous light. You want fabulous light. Shoot outside whenever humanly possible. The natural light is the best light, and it makes you look the absolute best you possibly can. And I could keep going, but, you know, hey. <laughs> hey. She's a wealth of information, that's for sure. And so I love and adore her, and I'm so grateful that she took the Thank time you. out of her amazingly busy schedule to be here with us. So if you have any comments, questions, please post them in the below the video, and we will get back to you and answer any questions that you have. I want to thank you all for taking the amazing time out of your busy life to be here. So get on Facebook Live. Get on YouTube now. Go get yourself out there and share your bright light with the world. We love you all. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.